And now it's time for the big story. The resignation of Portland Police's entire protest team and how it's kind of uh, heating up a little bit this feud between the police and city commissioners. Now the police union says officers have been dealing with this quote self serving political venom from the city while a city commissioner is calling the officers a quote rogue paramilitary organization and Portland's mayor slash police commissioner is kind of trying to toe the line in the middle there. Meanwhile, Portland's police chief is nowhere to be found and the deputy chief who's been the face of most of these big issues with the bureau over the last year is interviewing for a job 2500 miles away. If all of this sounds like a lot, it is. So why don't I get you up to speed? Earlier this week, the entire rapid response team with Portland Police's uh, uh, department there, they resigned after one of its members got indicted for what you're seeing in this video, hitting a woman in the head with a baton during a protest last year. The 50 officers on that team, they didn't actually leave their jobs. They're still police officers, but they resigned from this team that voluntarily responded to protests and riots, which is a team we've needed a lot over the past year. So as of right now, the rapid response team effectively does not exist. They say the indictment was the last straw and that they've had to put up with too much over the last year. Here's what the police union's director told us, quote, our rapid response team members did not volunteer to have Molotov cocktails, fireworks, explosives, rocks, bottles, urine, feces, and other dangerous objects thrown at them. They did not volunteer to suffer serious injuries, to be subject to warrantless criticism and false allegations by elected officials. These rioters burned and looted our city yet local politicians supported them. He specifically calls out City Commissioner Joanne Hardesty, saying she, quote, used the occasion to promote a self-serving anti-police, anti-public safety agenda. Now, Joanne Hardesty, meanwhile, wrote a response here, saying those standing for racial justice in the streets of Portland last summer encountered one of the most brutal police forces in the country, a nation leading 6,000-plus use of force incidents, many captured on video by community members. And she she said, quote, I remain deeply concerned these RRT resignations are yet another example of a rogue paramilitary organization that is unaccountable to the elected officials and residents of Portland. In fact, just last year, Hardesty actually wanted to eliminate that team, the rapid response team. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler didn't really offer an opinion either way on this. He acknowledged that last year has taken its toll on officers, though, but he said that the city leaders will continue to work to reform the community safety system. It is important to note that Portland Police is not is uh, it is important to note that Portland Police is the only city bureau losing millions under the mayor's new proposed budget. See, Wheeler wants to give them more money next year to recruit new officers, but in the end, they'll be losing more than nine million dollars if the budget passes. In the meantime, Portland Police Chief Chuck Lavelle hasn't said anything publicly, nothing about these resignations. He left Deputy Chief Chris Davis in charge of that yesterday. Portland Police say Chief Lavelle was in training out of state this week. Now, Lavelle really hasn't shown up for a lot of the big police issues since he became chief last year. He was on vacation when, a pol when police shot and killed a man in Lentz Park earlier this year, and he's had Deputy Chief Davis pretty much uh, handle most of the news conferences and most of the events that have surrounded the protest. But that might not last much longer because we found out Deputy Chief Davis is a finalist for a police chief job in Akron, Ohio. He actually participated in a forum for the final four candidates last night. Chief Lavelle and the mayor are in a tough position. Uh, I mean, to say it bluntly, right? Uh, officers are resigning faster than they can be recruited. Some uh, of the city wants tougher policing, while others want to abolish the police. The Bureau is losing millions of dollars. They aren't in compliance with the Department of Justice investigation about using excessive force, and they're dealing with a historic increase in gun violence in this city.